this is unthinkable uh, dystopian crap. Um, and then, and like I said, this is going to affect not only just families who are dealing with unwanted pregnancies. It's, it's really going to ripple out. And so, I, again, I think this is going to be men and, and, you know, fathers and grandfathers talking about this in ways they just couldn't anticipate. I think the Republicans, you know, had a choice. They were probably aware of how extreme their trigger laws were, right? But the rest of us weren't. Uh, once this because was an issue, you know, you could say Roe was wrongly decided. This should go back to the states and be decided, you know, under our federalist system. And you that that sounds great until you found out what those trigger laws were. And now that we know what they were without exceptions for rape and incest and all these other variables, uh, the response from the Republicans could be, hey, of course, we support exceptions for rape and incest. Let's go back to these, you know, state laws and, and rethink them. Let's now that we're going to be this sort of differently sort of dismembered patchwork of laws around the country. um, Let's just do it sensibly and and, and react to public, you know, popular opinion. No, no, no. Let's take take care of the pregnant mothers um, and their families. Let's make sure they have a social safety net. No, no, that has not been the response. That has not been the response. The response is to double down. And that is where the danger is for them is that, and that's why Mitch McConnell wants to put duct tape on people's mouths until the election. They know that this is a disaster for them. It's probably something they think they can tamp down between now and a hundred and how many days from now it will explode in 2023. And they know that it will cause an intra-party war on the Republican side. 